Hey guys and gals, this is Craig Dweller. Just out on another uh, winter day hike to one of my favorite spots here. Um, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday season and I wish everybody a happy new year and good health to everyone. Um, supposed to get a few inches of snow this afternoon so I set up a simple shelter with my uh, bang around tarp if you will. And I'm going to be trying to cook up some lunch here. I'll get back to you in a minute when I get set up. But all I've done is strung a piece of paracord between these trees. Nothing fancy at all. Tied out on the front here. And on the back, stake to the ground. Underneath here, i got my camera case on the end of that stick to give me some loft on the inside here just to so the stick doesn't go through the the tarp plenty of room under here <clears throat> and uh... yeah it's so quiet out here it's insane it's quite nice actually after the hustle and bustle of the holidays i needed to get out here <laughs> Alright, so I'll be back with you in a bit. Well guys, today I'm going to be using a... Uh, cook up some lunch here, perhaps. This little Esbit pocket cooker. I'm not going to do a, a review per se. They're all over the internet, but... What it does is it burns these solid fuel tabs that it comes with. It comes with six. So let me get this lit. And... Uh, make sure it happens. I find that um, I'm liking this little stove for winter simply because alcohol stoves, the alcohol in the stoves themselves, unless they're fairly warm, they don't perform very well. But I'm really liking this so far. Um, very lightweight. Again, I'm not going to do a review because they're all over the internet, but get some water going here. See what we can muster up for lunch. It does have, uh, you can canter these sides in for smaller pots. It's going to work fine for that. I've got it up off the frozen ground. I'm using my GSI Minimalist pot as a, um, just to keep it off the ground if you will. Alright, let that water heat up and I'll be back with you. It's like sleeting out now. Frozen rain, if you will. Man, I can't really see it. This tarp, I call it my bang around tarp. I've had it for about three years now. And, uh, it actually works pretty good. It was $40 at uh, REI. It's from Outdoor Products. Um, it's just a silicone, it's not sil nylon, it's like a silicone impregnated vinyl or some sort. It's not that heavy though, I think it weighs 14 ounces and it's 9 by 7. But I really like it for the money for banging around on day hikes like this to keep out of the weather. I slept in it overnight last January up on the wood lot. That was nice. Gotta get out there again. But yeah, if you're looking for an inexpensive tarp, and I've had it in a downpour in, the, in, in a normal rain several times. It doesn't leak. Of course, I did seam seal it. There's one seam going down the middle. Multiple tie-outs. So, yeah. Using the Nalgene today. Alright, I'll be back to you in a bit. <clears throat> Got some uh, potato, carrots, and some radish cut up in there. Gotta get that cooking. 
Actually, I'm going to put the camera down so I can do this. Get a little bit going on in there. Make a little trail soup, if you will. Gonna be adding another cube in a minute. It's gonna take probably two or three cubes to get this stuff cooked. See that one's still going. Get another one ready, though. So I've added another cube. <clears throat> One cube is fine for getting water to a boil, two cups for a coffee or tea or a dehydrated meal. Um, I found one, one cube is adequate. But for any kind of simmering or cooking, obviously you need more than one. I add a bouillon cube. Chicken bouillon. Got a nice boil going. That's good. And I'm also going to be, uh, Stirring in some leftover turkey from the holidays, and from Christmas. So it's gonna be a good soup in a little bit. All right, I'll be back to you in a bit. Still burning the second cube. This is looking good. Got the turkey in there now. It's good on a cold day. <clears throat> Another thing too guys about these little stoves is um, if you happen to run out of fuel tabs you can burn small amounts of wood like I'm doing now. Um, nice dry pine, the lower branches on pine trees or anything nice and dry. You can you can sneak small bits in these openings on either side so just something good to know. You can see there you can get a nice little fire going on inside of there. I'm doing this in this case. I have two more tabs with me, but the soup's almost done actually. The carrots aren't quite cooked, but the potatoes are. So I'm just finishing it off with some wood that's obviously plentiful around here. Little twigs. Alright, I'll be back with you.
All right, I'm gonna have to kind of took a little hike there or walk around and let the fire go out but let me restoke that with some dry uh, birch bark and I'll be back with you okay guys so we got some birch bark and we're back in business get this soup back on there Well guys, the carrots are done, potatoes are cooked through, and it's time to eat. Alright. Mm-hmm. That'll work. Mm. Alright, so I'm going to uh, eat that, sit out here for a little while longer, enjoy the peace and quiet, and hike on out of here. So, until next time guys, be safe, be happy, and get out there and do the things you like to do. Alright. Hey guys, I just thought I'd point out, um, the pack I'm using today, it's... It's a real cheap, I think it was like 19 bucks at Walmart. It's a uh, field line tactical. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, it was 19 bucks at Walmart. And it's actually quite comfortable. It um, doesn't have a, a hip belt, but it's got nice shoulder straps. Um, drain holes in the bottom. Compression straps on the side. Multiple, multiple molly attachments. Um, big pocket in the front that opens up with all kinds of little pockets in there the main the main enclosures unzips all the way down to here um, again press and strap on the side water bottle holder on one side and not the other carry handle again nothing fancy but you know if you're a scout or a parent that wants to get your kid into you know hiking backpacking bushcraft whatever I mean, how can you beat that? 19 bucks. You know, I'm sure I'd beat on it out here because I don't really care, but um, I'm sure it wouldn't last. I wouldn't trust my life to it. Let's put it that way. But, you know, the stitching's not bad. It's got a couple ports here on either side for a hydration bladder. But for under 20 bucks, I mean, why not, right? Okay, just figured I'd show you that. See ya. Guys, there's a big beaver right down here on the edge of the water, swimming that way. There he is. I don't know if you can see him. I'll try to zoom in. You can't really see him. He's right there. His body's mostly out of the water. I think there was another one too. Oh, he just went under. There's a section of a beaver dam over that way. And I don't 
don't see him. Went back under. Hmm. Anyway, 